morning and welcome to Bumblebee Junction. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. If you can't tell, it has been a long busy day, but it's time to go play with some power tools. So let's go tear up the yard and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, it is a beautiful sunny morning. I won't try to blind you too bad, but I have all of these wonderful crocus bulbs. These guys are little. When I open them up, I'll, I'll show them to you. But there are 10 packages of 100 bulbs in here. And uh, I've got my, well, it's not mine. I procured it. I got Mark's big drill and a really nice bore bit on it. And these bags. On here say planting depth of two inches spacing of three to four inches and um, one thing about crocus is when you plant them in groups of ten or more they really make a beautiful little flowery spot and they recommend um, planting them in groups of seven to ten so I'm probably going to plant them in groups of ten got marked drill ready Got my tripod, it's a beautiful morning, and uh, we're gonna go up here, and I'm gonna start right along the driveway on the left side, up over here, and um, I'm gonna see if I can't just add some more color over there. Now, if you followed the channel for a while, you probably know that up there in the front yard, we planted 1,500 couple of years ago and crocuses are one of the first things to to come up and and show their their beauty in the spring so we're going to add a whole bunch more i'm going to go ahead get all my gear together and i'm going to get started okay these are what my crocus bulbs look like Just cute little tiny things and um, definitely you don't want to peel any of the skin off. If it's loose, just leave it the best you can. And you definitely, it goes without saying, you want to put the pointy side up. But I really like to have flowers that look um, random and naturalized. So I'm going to start and I'm going to put a set here. Find somewhere here where the camera can see it really well. And... Um, once I've, I've done that and I've shown you how I do it, then I'll probably set the camera and the tripod up to get a much bigger uh, wide angled shot. And um, I'll show you what I'm talking about with that too, because yeah, I like random, you don't know where they're gonna come up. I'm not even gonna mark them. I'm gonna wait until spring so I can be excited when they come up. But do you have Mark's handy dandy drill? if I can figure out exactly where here will show up on the camera the best looks like maybe right in here somewhere and um, should probably mark that and put the bag there for a second um, now this is a big bore bit and that should be plenty and on the depth this does say the bags do say two inches so that's roughly two inches, so I'm just going to start making a mess, and I'm going to dig probably about ten holes right here. That's five, six, 
six, seven, These are so pretty when they come up in the spring and these little guys will even come up right through the snow. Yeah, I'm not even going to mark these because I really don't know, want to know where they are. That one's got a rock or a root or something in it. But that's really all there is to it. And I'm excited. I can't wait to see all of these come up in the spring. And uh, like I said, we have 1,500 of these all over the front yard and every spring it's so exciting to see them come up because then you know if the crocuses are up spring is definitely on the way let's see i got two more Yeah, I think that rock right there might be the one that was being a pain. I want to make sure I get them down in there good enough. Get them tucked back in there nice. And I have a lot more to go. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do this section. I'm going to set the tripod up so um, you see a, a wider section. And um, I get busy. There's a lot to do. Hold on.
Okay, I do have this section right here done. I'm going to work my way down that way. And, um, can't hardly see where it was. And, like, that's kind of how I want it because I want to forget where I planted them. Which, at my age, wouldn't be too terribly difficult to do anyway. But, I am going to start working my way down there. So I'll be back when I get these guys all planted and uh, decide where to head next. Okay, in between these trees going down the outside of the driveway, I have planted 300 bulbs. Well, it's probably a little bit more like 330 or so because there's actually more than 100 bulbs in each bag. But there's three bags planted. And um, I have seven more to go, so I have over 700 more bulbs to plant. So I'm going to take my big box of goodies and drill and find somewhere else to start digging. Okay, we are back here behind the chicken coop. Now on this side over here is the coops, and there are willow trees lining the creek over here. But... I don't know if you've seen on my walk around videos, um, this part of the yard is so pretty and um, gets a lot of really good shade and it's almost like a, a mini rainforest back here in the middle of um, the spring and the summer. But we don't have anything planted back here. Most of the crocuses that we planted a few years ago, um, they're all in the front yard and I just went down the driveway with about 300 bulbs. And I think that this might be the perfect place to go ahead and put a few more bags out here. So, um, I'm gonna get to work on that and I'll be right back. Okay, I am done planting back here behind the chicken coops. I had to go and get the weed whacker to help out because the grass back here is thicker and um, needed to get down a little bit closer to the dirt. But there's the creek, willow trees, chicken coop, and all of those spots have 10 bulbs in them. I planted 600 out here. And I only have two more bags, about 200 more bulbs. And actually, I'm going to take them up on the side of the house where I know that we haven't planted any before. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get those finished up. Probably won't get that on camera, um, but I'll be back in just a little bit to talk to you. Okay, so yeah, it's been a long, busy morning. And yes, I did take over some of the power tools this morning, but did have a whole lot of fun. Did get about a thousand bulbs planted, and um, I'm gonna tell you that it was probably closer to 1100 because every time I got to the bottom of the bag, I had about oh, somewhere between eight and 12 extra bulbs in each bag. So, yeah, they oversent the bulbs a bit, meant a little bit more work, but that means more flowers. So, yeah, I had a whole lot of fun, got to go out and dig up the yard a bit, and um, make a mess, got dirty, yeah, absolutely filthy, so you know, it's been a good day. But it has been a really long day, and I'm about wore out, so I'm going to go in, I'm going to take a break for a little while, and um, so I'll just go ahead and and get on out of here. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that little bell. It'll let you know when I'm digging something else up. 
If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything at all in your mind, please leave them in the little box below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. But it is absolute time of year to be out here and digging up the yard and planting all the pretty bulbs. And uh, Mark bought me about a thousand crocus bulbs, so they, they all needed to get in the ground. And um, I just took the box out the door and um, went and played in the yard. So I am going to go ahead and get on out of here. But don't forget, we love you, and we'll see you in the next one.